Welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. It's Thursday and happy Dollar Tree haul day. So I have everything that I have from Dollar Tree hauls or from Dollar Trees over here in my passenger seat, guys. And let me just say, I don't know, like I don't have any more. I'm going to have to go shopping. I need to do like a big, big old shopping spree. Uh, I'm going to roll my window down a little bit here because I'm kind of hot. It's kind of warm. I've got the camera shielded, so hopefully it won't get hot, but I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with this right here because I'm a little bit ticked off that tomorrow or that Sunday is Easter. I don't know what happened to me, but I felt like that I had a lot a lot of time, at least a month to go until Easter, and I don't, but I finally found these, so I couldn't leave them sitting. I'll just put them in my Easter decor for next year. I'll set them out for a couple of days. Oh, he lost his mustache, but anyway, um, I know beard, but like it was mustache shaped, um, but anyway, I finally found these. I got me a set and Fifi a set, and then after I paid, I'm like, wait a minute, Easter's less than a week away. How ridiculous is this? So anyway, they finally came uh, to my Dollar Tree. So I had to get them, right? And anyway, I want them for next year because they're so cute and they're good size and we love these. So anyway, there they are. Yes. Um, I'm going to try a lipstick on for you guys because I do not have... Um, regular lipstick on. I have a lip stain on and I feel like it's a little bit... Ooh, poppy pink it's a little pink isn't it so i'm gonna go ahead and try a lipstick on for you guys this is the nyx soft matte lip cream and this was in it is in the color sydney so i'm gonna try this on so this is something i got at dollar tree i got it the other day and um i'm kind of you know i kind of like that color but i don't know i just don't know we're gonna see i kind of like matte um I, I used to hate matte and just want to be all about shiny glossy or frosty but then I, I started wearing matte a little bit and started liking matte so anyway uh the color sydney so let's oh, even the lid is matte it looks kind of cool let's see here i feel like this is gonna be pink i mean it's pink obviously but like we're gonna try it huh yeah yeah it's pink um all right, I feel like it toned down my other pink. The other pink was almost fluorescent pink. <laughs> I feel like this is more of a bubblegum pink, but it's still pink. Like, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about pink lipstick. Let me know what you guys think. I can always count on you guys. Um, and then I grabbed me this. This is an adult 3X t-shirt. Now, I had got me um, an extra large like this before. I love the, it, to me, it's a neon 80s color, neon yellow or neon green, whatever color. I think it's yellow. Um, but it just reminds me of the 80s. I got this bad boy to sleep in. I love sleeping in oversized t-shirts. And this one, I'll probably sleep in tonight. Who knows? But anyway, it's from Gildan. It's the 3X. And they, they had a few different ones, but I just chose this one because the one that I got me a while back um, to wear wear, my son stole it. So, you know, I had to. I had to get me one. And then I found these little things. I just thought Jack would enjoy these. They're called Jiggly Gels. You get eight in here. They're just basically... Um, jello i think this little <laughs> i don't want to say jello shots that sounds a little bad but they're sort of like jello shot size in a way i guess um it intrigues me because this one right here doesn't look like clear like jello it looks a little different but anyway i got two bags of those because i feel like she will totally get into those so yeah and the bags were different too because like this one doesn't have a pink well maybe it does Maybe that's a purple. Yeah, I guess they're the same. Okay, so there's those. I still don't have my microphone lined out, so just bear with me, guys. Um, I saw these, and I'm like, this is a really good deal. It's the Tijuana Mamas. Um, I'm probably going to break my fast with one of these because 
yeah, I'm, I love Tijuana Mamas, and my hub, hubby loves them, and yeah, so they have these. Look at how big these bad boys are. I hope these are so hot because it says 400% hotter. Yes, I just want to be on fire or something. Like, I, my taste buds still are pathetic. Can I say pathetic? Pathetic. Um, so, yes, maybe this will liven things up for my hubby as well. So, yes. And then this is just something I thought I would grab for the kids' Easter bags. So I have not seen these. I really don't know what they are. Um, I just know they had three left and I grabbed them. It says DIY Wacky Tracks. So to me, it looks like a fidget, you know, that a kid would play with. This one's kind of unwound a little bit. Um, just something to play with. With Just a fidget. Just a cute little bright, colorful thing to throw in the Easter basket. I don't know. They only have three left. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're about gone. So I better grab some. So that's what that was. Okay. Uh, this is a repurchase, guys. I always repurchase these. It's just the like to-go containers. And then I got one pack of the Strong and Soft in here. Uh, I actually bought two the other day. And this was my second one. So... That's the Boro. Not that there's not going to be more Boro, but um, I found these, which I had been looking for forever. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I really try to take care of these. Oh, well, I think it's okay. Hold on. I think it's just slick. Okay. Okay. I thought one was gone, but these are the huge pinwheels. Is it pinwheels? Outdoor fun pinwheels. Look how big these are. I love these. So I don't know. I really don't know if I'm just going to stick these down in the garden. I really don't don't know if the kids, I don't know. I guess they, they have fun running with them, you know, and letting them blow. I got a little breeze blowing in. It's almost blowing up. But these are huge. I had definitely been looking for these. I think they'll just be pretty in the flower beds and stuff, honestly. They're, they're just very holographic. Can you see, like, all the colors popping through? I love them. I love them. So, yes, I was super thrilled to have found those. Definitely have been on the wish list. Everybody was finding them except me. And can I just say, uh, for, just look over the hair today. I had my hair like this yesterday in the bubbles, and I slept in it last night, and today I just didn't feel like fixing up. I got the makeup on. I'm like, you know what? Let me put one of these little Dollar Tree things on. That's as good as I could get, okay? It is. I did get my bracelets from Shein on, and yeah, so if you didn't see my Shein haul, like, they got so many awesome bracelets, guys. Like, they blow me away. Anyway, let's go get on back to this. Um, I bought a couple of these a couple of weeks ago, and I love these. They are really good plates. Um, you only get 14 in here, which is not bad, but they are designer paper plates. Um, they are a Greenbrier product, but I feel like they're very sturdy, and I love a paper plate. Okay, can I just say? And then if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen these, and I just could not believe these bad boys. These are like in aluminum cans, I guess is what you would call these. They're candles, and I don't know, are they for outdoor? There's a dust covering lift here. Life is better in flip-flops and summer vibes. So this one's tropical vacation scented and coastal escape scented. What a great deal. It doesn't, I can't smell nothing if my life depended on it. Um, it doesn't say it's an outside. See, I thought it might be one of those that you would sit outside to kind of keep mosquitoes away, citronella. Um, but they're not. They're just regular summer vibe, super cute candles. And I hope they smell good. I got them basically for the looks and because I like to keep candles burning. But I still can't smell, so I really don't know if they smell good or not. But I'll, I'll find out in the future, guys. I'll be finding that out for sure. Let's try not to knock everything down. And then I got these for me. Basically, I love refried beans. Always have, always will. I love beans. And I'm planning on having, like, I have been trying to do, like, super low carb. But I'm actually planning on adding back in, like, beans and, like, chickpeas, hummus, uh, stuff like that. Just kind of sat 
satisfies me a little bit more. Um, and these are premium refried pinto beans. I didn't get to try the last ones that I got, but I just think these would be so good just you know, with some low carb tortillas, um, or when I make my chicken quesadilla things, I love, love these. So I'm just super glad to find these again. It's a great source of fiber. Beans always are. And I was just glad that they still had them. Um, so I could give them a whirl. And then my son's birthday is tomorrow. So I got him a birthday card. Um, he's going to be 28. So, I'll be giving that to him. Uh, hopefully, I won't misplace it. And then, I grabbed this because I just got a new gas grill. Not that I haven't had gas grills in the past, but I need something new to make. It seems like I'm always making the same old stuff over and over and over again. And I want to try some new stuff. My husband, he's like, he's the main reason why I don't ever try new stuff. It's my son would totally eat anything new I wanted to make and Jack too but he's kind of stuck in a in the rut he's always been so I just want to find something good to throw on the grill and I thought this looked like it had some good recipes in it um mini mushroom burgers I'm never making mushroom burgers can I just say that oh skirt steak with chimichurri yum classic hamburgers I, I can do that Jerk chicken, yes, I'm all about stuff like that. Grilled watermelon, I don't know, guys. I love watermelon. If you guys have tried grilled watermelon, let me know because I want to know if I want to do it or not. <laughs> okay, and then I got these 28 for my son to hold up for pictures, obviously. So it's just 28. He hasn't told me what he wants as his birthday cake or birthday dessert yet and tomorrow's his birthday so if he don't hurry up and speak up he's just gonna miss out okay then I saw these <clears throat> so these are stickers I wasn't gonna get them because I thought they were just cutouts and then when I saw that they were stickers it kind of gave them a new appeal not sure what I'll use them for once again but I'm sure that it would be a really cool you know some type of project of some sort. I don't know. But you get 12 in each one. You get a gold and a silver. And I just thought, but since they're feathers, you know, I'm crazy about feathers. I thought I'd grab them. So, very boho. I love my boho. And then the other day, I had, uh, um, in my mind, I was thinking, man, I need one of them really big Ziploc bags, but I couldn't remember what for, like when I was at the store. So I went ahead and got it. I do have plans for it, but I don't know what they are. How crazy does that sound? Like, I know it's ridiculous, but my mind's like gone. It's shot. Like, I can't remember nothing. So I'll, I'll remember. It'll come to me and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's it. You ever get that way? Like totally crazy. I do totally, totally. Um, let me guys, let me show y'all this right here. This is, um, I thought this was a good find. Like Dollar Tree's definitely coming out with some cool items. This is a four pack. How cool! Um, it's apple juice mixed with sparkling water. So I thought, hey, that might not be too bad if it's actually mixed with it it's actually 60 percent apple juice so it's probably gonna be like you know a little fizzy apple juice and i'm kind of excited to try this um so it's no added sugar or sweetener so yeah you can get four packs i did get two of these one of them is still in the back so i'm gonna save this one over here because i've been trying to keep up with my tiktoks if you guys are not following me over on TikTok, it's Twisted Gypsy 32 and my Instagram is Twisted Gypsy 32. So if you're not following me over there, guys, head on over. Um, I saw the cutest things today at Dollar General. They're pigs. I'm going to post a picture over on Instagram. They are the cutest, but they were $4 each and you had to get all three to have a set. And I just didn't want to spend $12 on a set of pigs that I don't have anywhere to put anyway. So I left them and I took the picture. So anyway, um, I got this right here. I'm not sure what this is, so I'm gonna open it up. It just says, it's from Crown Jewels. It is called Letterboard Notes, and it says, quotes for every day. So we're gonna see what this is. I think it might be kind of cute. So first off, it has a little thing where you can sit it up. 
like if you have a desk, uh, I wish I had a desk. I would love to have a desk. But you can sit it on your desk like this, although you'd have to fix it a little bit better than that. See that? Sit it on your desk and then... Oh, so it looks like a little mini letter board. Look at this. Happiness never goes out of style. Love makes this house a home. Think happy. Oh, think happy. Be happy. How cute. This is really cute. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. I can't even sing now that I'm sick. So overlook that, okay? Just overlook me. I'm coming out of it. I hear a chopper flying right over top of me. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I grabbed these just because I love playing with these. Like, it's the ball and, you know, your, your little, you, you throw and catch the little balls in here. And I just got this. We have like a basket we keep on the front porch in the summertime for Jack, like toys and stuff like that, outside stuff. And so I'm just going to put this in that outside stuff. And then I grabbed these. I had not seen these, so I got these. They are hot fries. I wonder how hot they are. Like, maybe that'll be my one meal of the day. <laughs> hot fries and hot sausages. Oh, my signal's on. Okay. Anyway, tapatio. Okay. I'm going to butcher it. Tapatio. I don't know. I'm sure that's not right. But it's it is um, hot fries, corn and potato snacks with original salsa picante, hot sauce flavored seasoning. So yeah, I figured these might go over good. I'm a hot fry fanatic, always have been. Like when I was in high school, those Andy Cap hot fries, that was my jam. Can I just say that? I love those. So these kind of gave me those vibes a little bit. Or the, is it Chester Cheetah Hot Fries? Those are pretty awesome as well. Okay, so I do have my receipt here. If you guys need my Fetch referral code, let me know. I'll be happy to send it to you. Or it'll be in the description box. It usually is. And then here's something else I'm very mad about, okay? These. It's these. Cottontails Candy Cafe Jelly Beans. How cute are these? I'm just saying it very sarcastically. Treats for my peeps. How cute. That would be really cute to set in an office. See, that's something that Fifi would have taken. And bunny bait. Fresh carrots. How adorable are these? I don't know if I'll keep these or just donate them. Um, I donate a large portion of the stuff I get to a church that has annual like rummage sales and like I do donate a lot of stuff to them so that's why you know a lot of I get a lot of comments like what do you do with all that stuff are you a hoarder and all this stuff I'm not a hoarder I donate probably 80 percent after family you know get, gets what they want I donate about 80 percent of what I get like and after um, I take my decor down that I get from the Dollar Tree, I donate that too. And I buy new next year because Dollar Tree is always coming out with new stuff that I'm always loving. So if you're wondering, I'm not a hoarder. I do have, I do like a lot of things, but I'm not a hoarder, but I do donate. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know on that. Just let me know. Okay, I think that's all I've got, guys. So that is it. That is all of my Dollar Tree stuff. That's kind of sad, but exciting at the same time because that means I get to go on the hunt. You know, it's all about the hunt, going through, seeing what you can find. I know I'll be um, busy for the next couple of days. Um, I'm going to try to do a get ready with me and hair color. My hair is getting so gray. It can't hold out much longer. Um, I was actually planning on maybe doing that tomorrow. I'm hoping that I'll feel okay enough to do it tomorrow, but keep your eyes out. It may be coming tomorrow. I still have my 17k giveaway to do, um, so keep your eyes out for that too because that's coming as well probably in the next two to three days on both of those. So anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what your favorite items from today was. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, guys, uh, so you can enter in for the giveaway. And uh, yeah, don't forget, follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. Okay, guys, until next time. Bye.